Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve the questions about the moment distribution method and we have a beam to be solved. And now you can see we have three supports. One is pin, roller, and also this one is fixed. Okay. And uh, look at the question. It says that the support B of the beam shown, this one, okay. This one is the set as 10 millimeters, so all point, all one meter, okay. This one is going to be settled, something like that. For example, this is B. And this is going to be the, to this direction. And this is going to be to this direction. So now, let's uh, calculate fixed end moments. And then we are going to uh, determine the deflection that will be happen uh, uh, because of B, when the B is settled. Okay, so now let's uh, calculate the fixed end moment. For fixed end moments, from uh, B to A, because look at here, from A to B, I cannot calculate it. I'm going to use the modified formula. Okay, so now from B to A, I'm going to use this formula. Okay, 3 multiplied 20 multiplied with 8 over 16. And this is going to be equal to 30. And then I'm going to calculate for BC, for BC to fixed and three multiplied L square. What is L? Is eight, the length of the beam for from B to C and over 12. And this is going to be equal to minus 16. And fixed end moment CB is also be 16. 16 kilo newton meter sorry always do not forget sorry do not forget to write the units units are really important in the engineering so and now look at here we have a, a moment okay we have a moment at the support and now we are going to take this moment to here as 12 okay and now uh, for this fixed end moment look at here this is 30 and this one is uh, minus 16, and this one is 16. But I'm going to take the half of this uh, 12 as the moment at this support to here, okay? It's going to be carry over to here as six. And now let's calculate the deflection, okay? This deflections. So for the fixed end moment, uh, from A to B, the deflection. So for this deflection, it's going to be in negative because look at here, the, it's closed, it's closed at this direction. If it's closed at this direction, it's negative. If it's closed at this direction, it's positive. Look at it, this is a, this angle, it happens between uh, this uh, beam and when it's deflected, okay? There is an uh, angle. When it angles, it closed at this direction, this is positive. When it closed at this direction, it is negative. Now I write here, so. Let's write it, 3 multiplied, what is the EI? This is 2, right? 3 multiplied 2, multiplied E, what is E? 200, gigapascal multiplied 50, okay? This is, uh, and these are just the units, and just I'm just going to take the, uh, the, the numbers, okay? The numbers, so. And multiplied 0 0.01. Always write the settlements as a meter, okay? And this is going to be gigapascal, and it's going to be power 10 power 6 millimeter 4. So, and uh, over what? Over what? Let's check. Over what? Over L square. What is L? Is 8. So, 64, right? From here, I'm going to obtain as minus 9.375. Okay. Now, this is here. Minus 9.375. And here it's going to be fixed and moment from B to C. It's going to be uh, six multiplied. Look at here, six multiplied three because the EI is three, 200 multiplied 50 multiplied 0 0.01 and over 64. And I'm going to obtain as 28, 125. So this is going to be 28, 
one twenty five, and this is also twenty eight one twenty five. Now you can see from this formula. So now uh, I got the moments, but I have look at here. I have a moment at B support. If it is at the if it is at support, if it is at this direction, okay, it's going to be as positive. When I uh, uh, take the summation of the moments, I'm going to write as positive. So now I'm going to write as positive and uh, get the summation of them here. So I'm going to distribute the force respect to a uh, distribution factors. So now let's uh, calculate uh, the distribution factors. But first I'm going to uh, determine the stiffness factors. So for the stiffness factors, it's going to be for KBA, 3 multiplied 2i. Why 3 to multiply 2i? Because 2i is the, now you can see this inertia of, okay? It's inertia of this uh, beam, this part. And 3 is because of that it's modified. Because it ends with p. So it's modified, okay? I'm going to use modified formula. 3i over length. What's length? is 8. So it's going to be 0.75. And for KBC, 4 multiplied 3EI, again over 8, and this is 1.5. Yes, and now let's determine the distribution factors for BA is equal to 0.75 over 0.75 plus 1.5. 0.333, okay. This is the distribution factor for BA. For BC is also equal to 1 minus 0.333 and 0.667. So now let's write it. For this one, it's going to be 1 because it is pin, now you can see. And for this one, it's going to be 0 because it is fixed. And uh, for this one is uh, 0.333, 0.667. Okay, so now let's distribute the uh, moments. I'm going to show you how I'm going to do here. Okay, so 15 plus 30 plus 6 plus 28.125 minus 9.375 minus 16 multiplied 0.333 and multiplied minus 1. And from this, I'm going to obtain minus 17.898. And this one will be uh, minus 35.852. And I can show you how it's going to be also. 15 plus 30 plus 6 plus 28. 0.125 minus, sorry, 9.375 so 9 and minus 16 multiplied 0. Point, sorry, 0. 0.667 multiplied minus 1 and the result is going to be minus 35.852. So now this is also a kilo Newton meter because these are the moments. Do not forget to write the uh, units. I can't do make any uh, carry over to here, but I'm going to make carry over to here. It's going to, I'm going to take the half of this uh, moment. So it's going to be minus 17.926. Okay. And now I'm going to take the summation of them from the fixed end moment until the last column. Okay. So. This is going to be, when I take the summation of them here, it's going to be uh, 8.727 and it's going to be minus 23.727 and this is going to be uh, 26.199. Now I have the moments you can see. So let's find the reaction forces. Uh, for example, for the first part, for example, this is the first part, this is A. And this is B. And I have a moment here as 12. 
yeah, sorry, I forgot to write here this moment, sorry. And also I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the summation of that here, just 12, okay? So now this is going to be 12 and at B I have also 8.727 and I have a, a point load as 20 kilo -nifton. and this is also four meter this is four meter so i'm going to take the moment with respect to uh, point a i have a by i have a ay and total moment with respect to a is equal to zero this uh, this direction is positive minus 12 minus 8.727 minus 20 multiplied 4 and plus by multiplied 8 equal to 0 and by is equal to 12.59 kilo -nifton. and ay is also equal to 7.41 kilo -nifton. so let's uh, solve the second part this is B Y. Sorry, one second. I made a mistake. B Y right, B Y left, C Y, and I have a distributed load as three multiplied eight as twenty four at the midpoint of beam. 4 meter and 4 meter okay so now i have also moments at both ends so 23.727 and here also 26.199 so total moment respect to b is equal to zero so Mm, 23.727 minus 26.199 and uh, minus 24 multiplied 4 and plus cy multiplied 8 cy because this is point b okay it's going to turn to the clockwise direction equal to zero cy is equal to 12.31 and the uh, total fy is equal to zero i'm going to find also a by right 24 minus this sorry it's going to kilo -nifton. it's upper direction and 12.31 uh, minus by right right zero so by right is equal to 11.69 kilo newton as upper direction now i have also the uh, reaction forces so let's draw the shear and the moment diagrams so this is going to be for the shear diagram oh shit so this is going to be for the uh, shear diagram this is point A, for example. Okay, this is B and this is C. At B, I have uh, a 12th moment. Sorry, um, sorry, sorry. Now it's for shear lag. Sorry, it's for shear lag. At A, I have 7 point yeah, 7.41. So I'm going to uh, raise up as 7.41. And I'm going to continue with... Uh, 7.41 until the point that the load acts as 20 kilo newton right and i'm going to uh, go yeah goes down as 20 and this is going to be equal to 12.59 and i'm going to continue to reach the b at b i'm going to raise as 11 sorry 11.61 plus 12.59 and i'm going to reach 11 point yeah 11.69 11 11.69 and now here i have a distributed load so for the before the so because of the distributed load i'm going to decrease as triangular okay so what is distributed load 
uh, 8 is the length, multiply 3 is 24. So 24 minus 11.69 is going to be equal to 12.31. Okay, so it's going to decrease. For example, this is 12.31. Okay, now the shear diagram is okay. This is positive, negative, positive, negative. Now the shear diagram is all right. So let's draw the moment diagram. Uh, for the moment diagram, I have a moment at A. Look at here. I have a moment at A as 12. Do you see? This is 12. So. I am going to raise with 12. Okay, this is 12. So now, and then I'm going to I'm going to increase at this amount of area. And now I'm going to increase at this amount of area. For example, I'm going to reach to this point, and this is going to be 41.64. And I'm going to then increase at this amount of area. For example, this is B. And um, I'm going to reach, sorry, reach to this point. This is going to be linear, okay? This is linear because this is uh, rectangular. If it is rectangular, it's going to be linear. If it is triangular, it's going to be parabolic. And now this is 8.72. But if you remember, I had a uh, moment, I had a moment here as 15 kN. So I am going to, I am going to decrease and I'm going to add as uh, 15 also. So I'm going to reach 23.72, this 15, okay? 8.72 plus 15, 23.72, now I'm right here. So, and then I'm going to increase at this amount of area. Let's give you this uh, length. What is this length? Uh, for this thing, this I guess 3.9. Yes, yeah. For example, this is x. X is equal to 3.9 meter. From similarity, sorry, similarity of triangle. Sorry, yeah, triangle. Okay. This comes uh, x from the similarity, similarity of triangle this over this length and this over this length. So now I'm going to increase at this amount of area and I'm going to reach the point 0 0.93. Now for example, this is 0 0.93, okay? This is the maximum. This point, 0 0.93. And I'm going to decrease at this amount of area. And this is going to be, sorry, I draw wrong. I'm going to try to make it better. Yeah, no, this is okay. This is 26.199. Now it's going to be something like that. Uh, I guess you understand how you are going to solve uh, the question uh, about the moment distribution and uh, to draw the shear and the moment diagrams of the beam. Uh, so now the question is solved. Thank you for watching. If you like these videos, if you want to see more of the videos, please subscribe and share with your friends. See you for the next question.